Welcome to Where in the World is Pastor Joy. So, where am I today? Last time I was at Palisades Park right by the Cedar River, a beautiful place. So anyways, this past weekend we talked about Jonah chapter 3. So I'm going to read to you starting in verse 4. On the first day Jonah started into the city. He proclaimed, 40 more days and Nineveh will be overturned. The Ninevites believed God. They declared a fast and all of them, from the greatest to the least, put on sackcloth. When the news reached the king of Nineveh, he rose from his throne, took off his royal robes, covered himself with sackcloth, and sat down in the dust. Then he issued a proclamation in Nineveh. By the decree of the king and his nobles, do not let any man or beast, herd or flock, taste anything. Do not let them eat or drink, but let man and beast be covered with sackcloth. Let everyone call urgently on God. Let them give up their evil ways and their violence. Who knows? God may yet relent and with compassion turn from his fierce anger so that we all, we will not perish. When God saw what they did and how they turned from their evil ways, he had compassion and did not bring upon the destruction he had threatened. Uh, so here we are in Jonah, right? So Jonah finally has been spit up by the big fish or the whale as we call it. And God has said once again, go to Nineveh, declare to them that their city is going to be overturned. And so he does just that. And what is their response? Their response is recognition. Their response is confession. Their response is saying, okay, let's turn from our ways. Let's truly like put on sackcloth and sit in ashes and not eat for days so that we can repent and turn to God, turn to God from our wicked ways. That's confession, a recognition of the things that, that we do that are not of God. And what does God do in his great compassion as he's wanted to do all along? He shares compassion with them. He turns and doesn't give them the punishment that he has threatened, that has been deserved. This is called mercy, friends. Mercy is the gift of not receiving the punishment that is due. It's a huge gift. So may you receive God's mercy. May you be free to acknowledge your weaknesses, your shortcomings, and join into that loving compassion of God where he calls you closer to his heart and he gives you great compassion. Go in that peace, that mercy, and that love. In the name of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit.